let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna be installing the mod loader Steam modded for Bellatro. I don't care how you say it, that's how I say it. So we're gonna move on. So Steam modded, uh, I, I did not make this. This is a mod loader made by, um, what's his name, Steam Poly, uh, Steamo Polys, Steamo, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna just quickly get started. I wrote this little auto hotkey script. Uh, you can actually take a look at the uh, script right here. It's super, super simple. It is doing something kind of hacky though, so I recommend you take a look at this, know what you're getting into. Uh, basically, the big uh, thing that it's doing that is considered a little hacky is going and adding an exception to Windows Defender. It says, hey, uh, don't look at this file. We know it's uh, kind of sketchy, but we're going to use it anyways. And uh, that file is the injector uh, by Steemo, and uh, it just kind of is what it is. Um, just a lot of effort to uh, kind of make sure that people can use it to start modding, you know? Um, yeah, so we're going to get started. We're going to go here to uh, the download cmodded.exe, which is just a compiled version of the HK here. It's identical in every way. I added a little icon to it to make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to click download raw file here at the top right. Uh, Google Chrome is nice and handy here. It shows me that it's done. Uh, I'm just going to click it to run it. Uh, Windows protect your PC, that's fine. We're gonna click run info and hit run anyway. And it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask us for administrator. And hit yes. And it should pop up here and say injector was downloaded to app data. Um, so I'm gonna open that up here. Uh, we got Steam modded injector, just like it says it downloaded it to. Uh, and so we need this now. This is the install location of Bellatro. So we can actually right click on it in our library and go to manage, click browse local files. This is actually in a weird location on my other computer. It is not in this location. So it is important that you go through Steam to figure out where that's at. You could have it installed on a different drive. It could be installed wherever. Um, but finding this, finding your Bellatro EXE, that's this guy right here, that's the important part. So if we go back over to our readme that I put together for us, um, what we need to do now is drag our Bellatro.exe onto our steam-mounted injector.exe. And right here, it is going to do all the work. Uh, Windows Defender is going to pop up and do some things, but we have told it not to do anything about it. So this actually looks like it's successful. So we're going to test it out now. We're just going to double click on Bellatro. You can actually run it through Steam as well. It doesn't You don't have to double click it in there. Okay, and look at that. We're modded right up there. So now I'm going to show you how to actually install a mod. Uh, sorry about the lag. I am actually running this in a virtual machine so that none of my personal information gets leaked, you know. Uh, gonna close it out. Um, so to actually install a mod now, we're going to have to create a mods folder inside of the app data location. And I have indicated this inside of the uh, readme over here. So we're going to create a new folder mods. I'm going to go into that mods folder. And so I'm actually going to just install one of my mods real quick. I'm going to go get attribute. Uh, and we're going to increase our jokers. We're going to have more jokers. So we're going to go to increase joker cap Lua and uh, download raw file. And we're just going to open the file location or downloads folder. And we're going to pop that right into here. That's all it takes. I'm going to launch it from here. Doesn't matter which one you use. 
I'm just showing that it can be launched from both. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us 10 joker slots right off the bat. So if I go in, we're going to do our nice little ghost deck. Let's see, 0 out of 10 right there. We have successfully modded. And what did that take us? Less than five minutes here? Cool. All right. Have a good one, guys.